Judith in a white charge. What Judith liked was a nice tidy kitchen, all the surfaces spotless. And what Judith really liked was chatting with Cleopatra, the cat, about the news. Cleo didn't have much to say, just Agree, said Judith. One day, completely out of the blue, Cleo died. <laughs> Judith was devastated. She wept and she wept. What am I going to do now? The kitchen's not the same without her. I'm going to have to go outside to seek some adventure. So, donning a backpack, she decided for the first time to venture out into the forest in which she lived. Ah, Judith hadn't gone for a walk further than Tesco's in 15 years. So when she realised how beautiful it was, her breath was taken away. There was so much flora and fauna and nests and birds. And in the distance, the sound of children playing at forest school. <laughs> I could get used to this, thought Judith. In fact, I might even sit down, do a bit of meditation, maybe even hug a tree. This could be the beginning of a big change. I'd have to get over clear somehow. She took out a sandwich. When she found a lovely spot, and she began to chop. Suddenly, she realised <laughs> she was not alone. <laughs> Terrified at the wild beast in front of her, Judith racked her brains. Inspired by a moment of genius, she realised that. If she offered her sandwich, perhaps she could make a quick getaway. Fortunately for her, the ball had a pickle, and she was able to run away, back to the safety of home. She entered her kitchen. Well, that's quite enough adventure for one day, she said. Time for a nice cup of tea. Maybe I should just get a kitten. The end. <laughs>